MDOT's final planning contract manager, Jerry Banks. Today's feature on People of MDOT. Jerry Banks has worked at MDOT for 26 years as a final planning contract manager in the bridge division. When a set of bridge plans leave the MDOT design team or consultant, they eventually end up in Jerry's hands. Jerry works with the project engineer and the contractor, making any necessary changes to the plans. He then ensures that the revised plans, as well as any future revisions, are distributed to everyone involved, up to the bridge's final completion. Jerry also has over 28 years of service with the National Guard as a company construction officer. He recently had his first deployment overseas to the forward operation base Fenty, just outside Jalalabad, Afghanistan, where the summer temperatures can reach up to 130 degrees. We arrived in Afghanistan in July of uh, 2012, and we were assigned a horizontal platoon which enabled us to be a full engineering company. I had two platoons working under me. Um, there was approximately, I don't know, anywhere from 25 to 30 in each platoon. The missions included anything from basic electrician work uh, to plumbing, not very much plumbing, but some, uh, a lot of carpentry, the bee huts are what we, what we lived in. Those was our living quarters. Um, they range anywhere from the living quarters were basically 16 by 32. We built uh, 20 by 40s, and we mainly used those for, for offices, office building. Uh, we did build as, as large as 40 by 90 which are called our uh, super bee huts. And uh, those were definitely strictly office buildings. They also build what they call force protection. This involves putting large baskets together, called HESCOs, then filling them with dirt, making large protective walls around the camp's perimeter. At times, the base did get hit by rockets shot at them. They would launch rocket setters, and most of the times, the rocket would, would go over the base and miss it totally. The siren would sound and basically you got three seconds to, to hit the ground. One night, I think we were hit with 15 rockets. Uh, that was probably the most and probably the most intense time. Eight of them landed actually inside the compound and the other seven missed. So nobody was hurt amazingly. The, the aviation guys, of course, they would get up in the, um, in the Black House Apaches and, and we have drones. We had drones flying 24-7 and that was our biggest, biggest protection. Jerry has been married to his wife Karen for nearly 13 years. They have two children, a 10-year-old boy named Jarrett and a seven-year-old boy named Clifton, who Karen was responsible for for nearly a year by herself while her husband was in Afghanistan. Uh, it was pretty tough. Uh, she done well. She done incredibly well. It was tough, I know. it. She, she, she told me it was hard sometime. Uh, she had plenty of help from her family, but she didn't really complain. When Jerry's back at home and the college football season begins, you'll definitely find him at some of the games, but not as a spectator. It was first start, number 76, offense. Five-yard penalty, remain first down. I officiate college football. I officiate in Conference USA and also in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. It's a lot of fun. Um, you put in your time, studying the rules. I enjoy doing it. Jerry finally returned home to his wife and children on April 25, 2013, at the Tupelo, Mississippi airport. For his exceptional service as a construction officer while deployed in Jalalabad, Afghanistan, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom, Jerry received the Bronze Star Medal. Thank you, Jerry, for your service to our country, as well as the other MDOT military employees, along with all the men and women who have served or serving in the United States military. MDOT's final planning contract manager, Jerry Banks. 
Today's feature on People of M.Dot. 